for what I watched at home, I didn't get a whole lot in at home this month. There's several things that I'm watching, and I've seen several episodes of different things, but none of it wrapped up. We've got things like Rings of Power, House of the Dragon, She-Hulk, and Rick and Morty. They, I yeah, watched several episodes of all those this month, but none of them wrapped up. So they, I think some of them wrap up next month, if not all of those. Most of them do, I think, anyway. And, well, Andor started this last month, too. So there, there's a lot of TV out right now, but I didn't, uh, We I wait till the, the end of the season to include it on this. So we just had a, a few movies and then the, the Great British Baking Show, which was, was kind of fun to get into. It was uh, just kind of a, a relaxing day in that got me looking for some reality TV and happened on this, so... Starting off, though, we have uh, Shawshank Redemption, The Shawshank Redemption. I think this is an absolute masterpiece. I think everybody must see this film. It is it's one of my favorite films of all time. It's not quite on my top ten, I don't think, but it's, it's very close, and it's one that I consider putting in my top ten. But it was nice. I was able to share this film and, as well, this is The Prestige, with a friend who hadn't seen either, and these two being some of my favorite movies it was nice not only to rewatch the films but share them with somebody who who hadn't seen them before so next up we have the last duel this i think i originally had i had well i have it very high on my list from last year i think it's like my third favorite film from last year and on the rewatch i think going into the rewatch i would have labeled this a masterpiece on the rewatch i think i just put it in the great category i think it is really really good but it's it's not quite on the level of a masterpiece maybe that's because i i rewatched it in parts like i think i watched one act one day and then i watched acts 2 and 3 uh, in two separate sittings on the following day and I, don't, I think it doesn't have quite as much of a rewatchability, but I do think it's really good. I love the music for it. I think the acting is good. I did just feel kind of the repetitiveness of the story this time through. I did really appreciate it. The like, I absolutely love this coming out of the theaters, and I liked that how they tell the story from different points of view, and you see different things or scenes play out slightly differently. But on rewatch it it did it did feel a little a little drawn out but i do think it's really good i really like the dual part of it i thought that was filmed very well and just had a nice like gritty sort of look to it uh the great british baking show this is a this is a good show i'm i'm glad i happened upon this i think i need to see more than one season if i were to bump it up anything greater than good but I'm inclined to put this as a great show, even though I would not have thought so. I just I think it's great to see all the the food that they they bake on the show, and like the music just fits, and I I like just the general tone. I especially like that the contestants are there, like they're supportive of each other, and they're not super competitive. Like they want to see each other succeed, and they're upset for each other when their stuff doesn't like turn out. So I thought that was that was just really. I think it's a very wholesome show, and it's it's one that I, I recommend if you're looking for something not too serious to watch. And then lastly, we have The Prestige. This is in my top 10 films of all time. I, I think I need to rethink that list at this point, because it's mostly franchise movies, and it's like, this is what I grew up with. Things like Lord of the Rings, and Star Wars, and Harry Potter, and... Like, those have such a special place in my heart, but at this point in my life, I do think I prefer a little bit more the non-franchise things, or I just have to reevaluate. Like, if I didn't grow up on this film, taking that aside, how much do I actually enjoy it now? But that being said, so, like, The Prestige being on that list, where it's the only non-franchise movie in my top ten right now... I it's like yeah it's it's definitely a masterpiece and it's one that I think everybody should see. I was surprised to learn that it's in like the seventy percent on Rotten Tomatoes. I don't really understand that, but I guess to each their own. I just I don't know. I love this movie. I love the tone that it has. I love the actors, and yeah, here again, it was it was a lot of fun to be able to share this with somebody who hadn't seen it before. So that's that's always a nice experience, and it had been a couple years since I watched it. So, yeah, it was uh, it, was, it was a good month for for rewatching stuff at home.